take everything I am, he can break everything I am. Are you thinking of a sad, scared, or depressed pop star? Today I'm going to tell you about Demi Lovato and how her life changed from depressing to happy. If you listen to this speech, her story could help you be happy, make other people happy, and make life better and happier. First topic I will discuss is how Demi got depressed. Demi started to put herself into, into pain by cutting her wrist in, at the age of 11, which made her depression even worse. When she and Joe broke up, she started to use food as a means of control. So when she gained weight, she felt unhappy. While rehearsing Camp Rock 2, she struck one of the backup dancers, Alex Welch. She said that she felt terrible about hurting her. Her family told her that she couldn't live like this anymore. Second topic I will discuss is how Demi recovered. She checked into Timberline Knowles, a residential treatment center in Illinois, where she found better ways to deal with her emotions. Her younger sister, Madison De La Garza, was her, was her inspiration of getting better. A picture of her little sister kept her going. She said, you have to set an example for your listeners, little sister. So that's what she did. She eventually got better and got to set that example. The last topic I will discuss is how she spread the word. A song that Demi wrote that I think helped spread the word was Give Your Heart a Break. Because the song says, I know fear is what it really was. So I think that she had fear and was going through a rough time and it helped spread the word that she was scared and she needed help. She said that she wasn't going to return to the Disney Channel show Sunny with a Chance. She hopes to become an advocate for girls that are facing similar struggles. When she was interviewed by US Weekly, Demi said, the, reason, the real reason why I'm sitting with you is to open up the eyes of young girls, so many young girls, that it doesn't have to be this way. Today I told you about Demi Lovato and how her life changed. Now you know about her depression issues, how she recovered, and how she spread the word. After listening to this speech, let's say that tomorrow was your best friend's last day. What would you say to him or her?